Finally got working on the Mustang again. <laughs> it's been sitting for months. Here's the exhaust that it came with when I got full masters, of course. The Mustang doesn't sound bad as <laughs> X pipe, and for some reason, this one section has been replaced. Two catalytic converters, there's a stock. Pretty much just got a cat back on it. And they retained the stock X pipe, it looks like. That's where the o uh, secondary O2 sensors went. So. Trying to do this, see what kind of room I'm going to have under the hood. I, uh, so far, just took the air filter box out and the uh, AC lines used, taken off. So I could see the exhaust, got the starter drop. So I can see all the bolts on the top now. I don't know about the bottom ones. So I'm still trying to see. I'm about to pull the exhaust pipe off. So still trying to figure out if to pull the engine or not to get that manifold off. So. Maybe I can just lift up the engine a couple inches. Okay, I got that white pipe section, the cat's down. And there was a lot more room after I got the starter up, so I did get that one exhaust manifold off. It's the driver's side one. Well, I gotta get that emissions EGR, you know, tube. It goes up to the EGR valve, I gotta get that off. I might just cut it. it is that's going to be mounted somewhere else, so I won't use the fitting just like that anyway, so I'll probably cut that loose. It is stuck on there, and I might be able to, I think I can get that, I think I can get that manifold off. If, if I pull off the steering shaft there, I definitely would be able to pop it out, especially since I got that one off over there. Get the hump for the starter. <clears throat> Obviously, there's not much room up here to reach, but I think I got pretty good room underneath to get to that manifold. I'm going to be pulling this stuff out of the way, when all this out of the way when I get fabricating. I did get the manifold off. It was fun. I would use a quarter-inch ratchet to access some of that. But here's the good news. I have some extra heads I bought. Actually, these are real low mileage stock single overhead cam, two valve, you know, heads. Just like what I got on the car. I got them for 50 bucks off Craigslist, so I bought it. The valve guides are kind of worn on mine. And this is cheaper than having the heads done. But here's the good news. This manifold is the one I just took off of the passenger side, which is the right side. This is the driver's side, left head. And what I wanted to do is, like I've done before, is switch these to be front-facing. And like try true forward nature. Look at that even bolt pattern. And it works. It's going forward. I'll be able to... Uh, I might cut this and put another style flange instead of using this. I'll probably might put a small header type flange on there. I don't know. No matter how much room I got up front because this angle's probably going to be bad. So I'm probably going to, I might even cut this flat and probably bring some pipe out, then make a, a flange out here at an angle or something. Somewhere, somewhere in here so I can at least get the manifold in once under there and then couple to the front, you know, as I continue fabricating. But this is good news. This should go back in and face forward, which is something we did on my brother-in-law's uh, Dodge Ram to put his turbo up front. So that's gonna be real slick. And then uh, I should I should be able to, there'll be a little bit of a gap back there. I could probably just drop the downpipe back there or I might just oval it and bring it right through there as long as there's clearance from the starter. Actually, that's how you get to the starter bolt, so I probably won't do that. I'll do something. All the naysayers say you have to change the whole K-member to the tubular one. Well, that's for people that throw money into the car and just buy bolt-on stuff. This is do-it-yourself low-buck project. We don't do that. <laughs> Not to mention there's going to be a lot less exhaust pipe because those guys, they, they connect the exhaust in the back, bring the pipes back up front, then bring a down pipe. So these, these two will collect. Probably going to change this pipe. You know, I'll probably reroute it and, and, re and move this. And the turbo is going to sit right here where you can get to it. Those two pipes will come right off the front and collect right here. Put some header wrap on. Be awesome. Probably convert it to a single uh, O2, single bank O2. Having one before and after the cat. 
And the cat's probably going to be up here right underneath the turbo. And then uh, I'll drop the downpipe. We'll see. So all that stuff is subject to change.